Today on the Larson Garage we have the entire fuel system pulled out of the CJ. We're going to be converting from the rubber hose and hose clamps that were in there over to some braided stainless lines and AM fitting. So let's jump right into it to me pulling this fuel system out without spilling a drop. Without spilling a drop. Without spilling a drop. Alright, so let's talk a little bit about what AN fittings are and why I'm switching from the rubber line on hose clamps that I had in the CJ over to AN. Uh, now, for the 10 years or so that the CJ's been together, it's been had uh, rubber fuel line, well, obviously most of the fuel system being hard line. Uh, but it was last year that I started having issues with the rubber line and the hose clamps. Uh, the first one rubber line that was in the CJ on the feed side up near the motor uh, the rubber actually deteriorated and, and split so I ended up with a fuel leak I was able to, to patch it get off the trail but then I started to notice that the amount that I needed to tighten the hose clamp in order to get a good seal because the hard lines that I had made I wasn't able to get a barb or, or sort of any retention on the, the hard line itself so it would either want to slip off or, or leak by so the amount that I needed to clamp the hose clamp down to actually started to to tear in or, or uh, wreck the, the rubber line itself so then I end up with with fuel leaks from that too so that's the main reason why I'm switching to AN line alright but jumping into what are AN fittings so AN fittings are, it's a threaded fitting type, and AN actually stands for Army Navy. I don't know if the Army designed it or it's just what they use on all of their, their stuff. So it's a, there's a flare on one end, obviously like I said, it's a threaded connection. So it's a much, much stronger seal proof uh, connection. So I am able to retain the hard lines that I currently have. I have a a flaring tool specifically for AN fittings. So the AN fitting is a 37 degree flare. I can't use, even though the tool looks identical, this brake line uh, flare because this cone is 45 degrees where the AN needs a 37 degree. So we'll go through, flare up all the hard lines so we can use those. AN fittings are measured uh, in a dash. So da I have some dash 4, dash 5, and dash 6 lines here, or fittings. Uh, and the way they measure them is in sixteenths of an inch. So dash 4 would be 4 sixteenths or quarter inch. Dash 6 means 6 sixteenths or 3 eighths, which is most of what the fuel system is on the CJ. So I have a pressure test kit. So once we make the lines, we'll go through pressurize them with air, dip them in a bucket of water, see if there's any leaks. I'd rather do this with air outside of the Jeep than get it all uh, plumbed in there, put fuel through it, and spray fuel all over the shop. So I got the first hard line all flared. I got the end connections. Uh, there's a plug on one end and then a Schrader valve on the other. So we can put some air into this. I got a bucket of water uh, and we'll test it, see if we got any leaks. Alright, so as you can see, obviously we have some leaks uh, 
I'll pull these apart. It's leaking from the flare side, so I don't know if there's if I cut some tube, try and reflare them. Uh, but I'll pull them apart, see if I can see anything. I think I found the the problem at least with this side. We'll try it. When I pulled it apart, I could see there was a a line on the AM fitting, and almost like a a raised uh, some raised material, not quite a burr, but something like that. Um, that I think was keeping it from fully sealing on uh, the full face of this angle. So I got this cleaned up, filed it down, hit it with some scotch Brite. We'll put it back together uh, and we'll see this time. Hopefully, hopefully it'll hold. Alright, so I was able to tighten up, tighten up this nut and actually get that side to seal pretty well without having to take it apart. Let's see this other side. Uh, we still have still have some leaks so. Alright, good news and bad news. Good news is uh, we pressure tested the return side and there were no leaks on any of the, the fittings or the flares on the hard line that we did. So that's good. And even now it's still still holding pressure. Uh, so I'm confident with that we can throw that back in the Jeep. Bad news is on the feed line. Uh, I cut the original flare off, tried to reflare it. I had some issues though where this flare tool uh, it kept trying to push the pipe through, or the tubing through, and it wouldn't uh, produce a flare. So then I put it into the vise so that the tube wouldn't slide out. Uh, then the issue being that it, it actually dug into the cone on this flare tool. Uh, so I did not get a good flare on that other side and obviously I, I can't try and, and reflare it now. So there's a couple options. I can cut that. They make compression style fittings where you don't have to flare it. it you just slide it on and as you tighten it up it'll seal. So uh, I might try something with that. Uh, just cut off what part didn't flare and then I can put that compression style fitting on. Uh, but for the meantime I'll throw this, throw this in and then we can start uh, with the flexible uh, braid, braided stainless lines, uh, putting connections on those and getting those pressure tested. So we can at least uh, continue on with the return side while I figure out something else on the feed side. So we have the hose cut to length. I already have one of the fittings on, so now we'll go through and, and put the other fitting on. Uh, so these are Earl's Auto Fit fittings. So there's two parts: uh, this red collar part, and then the blue. Obviously, this slides into the hose. Uh, so what I need to do now is slide the hose into this collar up until might be tough to see. There's about half a dozen threads. So I need to get this hose into there to the base of those threads just about. Uh, then we'll, we'll pull it out and then slide the hose over this uh, blue part, thread them together, and then just like we did with the hard lines, we'll do a pressure test uh, and see if they hold. Alright, so we can see the hose is just about to the end of those threads. I'll actually pull it back just a little bit so it doesn't go all up on any of those threads when we put the other part together. Alright, so now we're going to put this blue piece in the vise. And these are aluminum vise jaws. All of these AN fittings are aluminum. Uh, so if we didn't use these and if we were just to clamp these into the vise, uh, we'd gall and damage these fittings. Alright, so we have that tighten down. Now we're just going to oil inside the hose as well as that blue fitting just to make sure everything slides together nice. And then we'll take the hose and we're pushing just on the hose and not that red fitting. Oh. And I forgot one step. We want to mark the where this fitting falls on the hose. 
so that as we thread it in we'll be able to tell is this fitting sliding out or is that pushing the hose out of this fitting so we want to make sure that we still have all of that engagement after we get it all tightened up all right so now we can push it on like I said just with pushing the hose we'll start to thread it onto that blue fitting and then once we go as far as we can by hand we'll then tighten it down with the wrench So now we'll pull it out and check that line that we marked to see did the hose then pull out at all. Which we can see it's still right there. So now we have ends on both sides so we'll do the same with the hard line and get this pressure tested and then we'll get it thrown in the Jeep. Alright so with the leak that we saw in this hose I uh, just put it back in the vise, tightened it down. Uh, that seemed to be enough to, to stop that leak. So now this hose is all set, I have another hose that I already pressure tested, so we have one for the feed and return up on the motor side, we'll get those installed, everything tightened down, uh, and then we'll raise the tank up and start making the lines from the tank uh, to the end of the fuel system or beginning of the fuel system I guess, uh, and then we should be all set. Alright, so we have all the lines in, I've double checked all the connections, we obviously pressure tested all of the soft lines and all the hard lines, so those should be good. Uh, the only potential leaks that we have now could be uh, where those lines connect to each other or connect to the motor or the tank. Uh, so I got the fuel pump wired back up, battery hooked back up, um, so now the only thing left to do, I'll turn the key on, let the fuel pump run, build up the pressure, check for leaks, if I don't see anything then we'll start the Jeep. And then check, we'll be able to check then the uh, feed and return lines. And then fingers crossed we don't have any leaks. Here we go. Alright, so we found our first leak on the feed side. Try and see up there. So it's this, somewhere in this line of fittings. Uh, the hard line that goes to the motor, we flared. Uh, that's a, that's a line that we weren't able to pressure test because of the way it goes into the the motor. Uh, we weren't able to seal both ends, so we'll, I'll try retightening that to this uh, male to male adapter, and then where this hose comes in. So we did pressure test this hose, so it, just somewhere in in these other two connections, either where this hose uh, connects or one of these other two fittings. So we'll try and uh, double check, see if we can tighten that up anymore, see if that will stop the leak. Uh, and then we'll we'll give it another shot. All right, so trying to tighten that fitting up didn't seal the leak here. Uh, so what I have to to try and help with that are conical seals. So it's a little thin piece of aluminum uh, that's made with the the 37 degree flare. So it's designed to go in between the two fittings and then help seal anything up. So I put one of those in. So let's give it another try, and hopefully that seals the leak. Alright, so we have the fuel pump on, or the line is pressurized. I'm not feeling any any gas in here, I'm not seeing any drips. Uh, so it looks like those conical seals help to seal up that, the leak we had before. And I'm not seeing any leaks anywhere else in the system. So I think we're now ready to fire it up. Uh, check again for the feed line, any leaks, and then we'll let the Jeep run for a little while, let it warm up and then check check the return line for any leaks all right we did find a leak on the return line uh, right at this fitting you can kind of see just a, it's a small little one uh, it takes quite a bit of time for it to when you wipe it clean to show back up 
And I'm surprised with this fitting because this is one that we were able to pressure test. Um, and there wasn't a leak when we pressure tested it. So I tried to tighten it up more. I can't get it any tighter uh, and it still leaks. So I'll pull it apart. Same thing we did uh, with the other fitting. Put a conical seal in there uh, and that should seal that up. And then we'll rerun the Jeep. So I put a conical seal in that joint. I uh, ran the Jeep for a little while and it still had just a slight leak where it's just weeping out. So I went through and I pulled out this fitting between the hard line and uh, the braided line. I found there's a little scratch or neck in it. I don't know if it got dropped or, or something when I installed it. I'm surprised it didn't show up in when I pressure tested the line, but uh, either way. So I put a new one of these in. So then I, I put a new conical seal in just to be safe, ran it. Uh, it, it held, so no leaks now. We'll get the tank bolted back up. I had that down so I could check for any leaks around there. I didn't see anything, so we should be all safe there. Uh, so we'll get that bolted back up and then wrap the video up. All right, so I was planning to wrap the video up, but uh, not quite yet. So once I got the tank all bolted in, I was looking around at it, and the feed line uh, was being pinched between the top of the tank and a cross member. Uh, so with the, the fittings I have now, I can't make it work. Uh, I got to get some, they make 90 degree bends. So I got to get that to route the line, uh, route the hose out of the way so that it'll clear. Uh, I was planning to wrap it up right now, but now I got to wait, order some more fittings, then put those in and then put the tank up again. And hopefully that those work and that we're all set. Um, I'm hoping I didn't damage that line any by it pinching for a little while or being pinched um, but once I get the fittings in we'll do the same thing pressure test or, or test it check for any leaks uh, and we'll go from there so a little bit a little bit longer a little bit more to do uh, so yeah So the fuel system is officially all, all complete, all buttoned up. Uh, we obviously had some hiccups along the way between different leaks and needing those other fittings, but we're able to get through all of that, uh, get the fuel system all replaced without any leaks, um, at least now without any leaks. So I'm going to wrap this video up. Uh, thank you for taking the time and watching it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, give it a like. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Uh, if you want to see more of the CJ and, and what we got going on in the Larson garage. Uh, but I got to get back to work on this. There's still a few things before it's ready for the trail. So uh, I'll get back to work on this and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.